Um, I think uh, I, I beg to differ with uh, Senator. Uh, my view is uh, the president is the head of the executive. Ultimately, he takes responsibility for corruption and failures within the executive. The unfortunate thing is that despite all the naming and shaming of names and you know, removing of cabinet secretaries, the truth of the matter is corruption continues to happen in the executive. And this is where we have a challenge with. And he is the head of the executive. And uh, I think that's where the, uh, the biggest challenge uh, comes in. Why is it that time and again we see the president talking tough about corruption, talking about uh, zero tolerance on corruption, yet year on year these things continue to happen. I sit in the Public Accounts Committee and I can tell you, all the financial years that we've looked at, including the one we're looking at now, which was just last year, I mean 2014-15, uh, mm -hmm. um, serious failures in different ministries and different departments. So really, uh, taking a shot at the big names out there, uh, the, the ministers, for example, who we can dismiss, is not necessarily where the, 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 the solution is going to come from. What more do the, you think the president could have done? Because you see, you're saying he's the head of the executive, yes, granted. Yes. What more do you think he could have done? What I think is that, unlike you and I, the president enjoys the privilege of knowing a lot more details on issues, on people, on exactly what's happening. I am sure that he is well informed where he is through the intelligence briefs that he gets, that where exactly corruption is occurring and the points where they are. Unfortunately, some of this corruption leads to big offices. And, and, and we will be very surprised to see how comes the president will not be in the know. And these are questions that we put as a public accounts committee to the agencies that are expected to inform the, the head of the executive, asking him, do you really give accurate information on these issues? How comes you are the, uh, the NIS, for example, and you want to tell us that you don't know what is happening and who is looting the public coffers? These things happen through financial institutions, from ministries to either private accounts or of, of, of uh, companies or individuals. It, it, people make calls and people communicate and travel and do all sorts of things to, to enable money laundering and, uh, and, and corruption. All these is issues that I cannot personally uh, say that the president will not know. I don't think that's he, the... must, he must be in the know, and if he is, then he must take the appropriate action.